Hi, everybody. It's time for Great Day Fitness. Well, low-carb diets are all the rage, but let's face it, eliminating carbs, eliminating them is not easy or really desirable for most of us. No, Joe Carabasi <laughs> telling us about carb rotating for better long-term results. Joe Carabasi. Hi, nice to see you. Yes, I'm, I'm sort of doing this, right? That six-week challenge that we're doing right now is I'm carb cycling, right? She looks great, by the way. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm, yeah. I'm, my body fat is down 4%, according to. That's good, to, and that's good. Yeah, so we're going to keep going with that. But um, uh, basically, it means that like a couple of days, I'm eating super lean, and then I'm adding a little bit of carb but what is carb cycling for people who've never heard of this yeah so essentially carb cycling carb rotating it means the same where you're essentially alternating the days of which you have carbohydrates see the problem is so many diets out there you know whether it's your Optivia your many weight loss a lot of these other programs that are super deficit based are no carbs at all, all right. there's a problem with that because a lot of these super deficit based weight loss programs you do lose weight yeah. because you're cutting things out however the weight loss stalls at a certain point right. when that excess number comes off. And here's the bigger issue. Your body enters starvation mode because you're in such a deficit. When that happens, your body's like, it slows down. It's like, I don't need, when you put calories in, it doesn't have to work as hard, AKA your metabolism, digestion, elimination all slows down. So a lot of times with these super low carb, or sorry, low calorie diets, people who then, because at some point, you're not going to have no carbs for the rest of your life. I mean, everybody, no, you, it's just, I mean, it's, exactly. not it's not realistic. So, so, so here's the problem, but here's the problem though, is when that happens, right, you do one of these super low calorie diets, then when you do have carbohydrates, you're having it with a slower metabolism. And so you are more sensitive to carbohydrates. And that's where people end up really yo-yoing swing. And then you gain a few pounds back. And then the, the, the whole idea tend to become, well, here I go again. Here I go again. And so, what were you going to say? Well, I just think, I think it, it, it also that sensitivity thing is what I'm curious about. I know as I've gotten older, I'm definitely more sure. sensitive to carbs. I used to be able to eat like way more of them. Now I'm like, whoa, okay, yeah. I can't. So I guess finding that sweet spot. But if someone wants to try this at home, uh, how do you do this? How well, do you do I, this I think first? it's first of all fundamentally important to understand that carbohydrates are not bad. Carbohydrates are one of the best sources of energy for, for muscular endurance, muscular strength, a.k.a. to get toned, but also your brain requires carbohydrates. Yeah. You don't think about that. Fog, yeah. yeah, you get cognition loss when you cut out carbohydrates. And so the problem isn't carbs, it's the type of carbs and then how many carbs you're intaking. Give us some examples. So in terms of types of carbs, yes. I'm a fan of white rice. There's Brown rice has arsenic in it. White rice is actually good, but why people don't like white rice is they look at the, they look at the label, which is good, but they see how high the carbs are. It's high. So if you're having a cup of rice, that's a problem. But if you have a quarter cup of rice and you're rotating in, so a good rotating schedule we were just talking about, ideally you want to put carbohydrates where you're having the most strength-based or cardio-based Based workouts. Those runners out there, those people who are in the gym doing heavier weights, you want to make sure you load carbohydrates on those days. But a simple approach for everybody would be to do it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When you're going to sort of want a nice dinner, you want to have some sort of carbohydrate, and that's a good way to sort of work it into. It depends on your goals, but a good way to start for people would be one or two meals. I would say one, but start where you are. Uh, on those days. One or two meals with carbs, but when you say that, what, is the, what does the plate look like? Is it a piece of bread, or do you mean get your carbs from fruits and veggies? No, I mean I mean actual carbohydrates. So fruits and veggies are carbs, but I refer to when I say carbs, I refer to traditional carbs. It's like, like bread. Like simple carbs, not car not complex. Well, okay, so not necessarily. Have... No, complex carbs would be quinoa, sweet potatoes, things yeah. like that, and those are the carbs that I'm referring to. Okay. So, but also like some people like bread, and there's nothing. I like bread. Who doesn't like bread? Who there's nothing like bread? wrong with it, but get a good quality bread, a bread that you can't squish, a bread that has either a lot of grains in there. There's like uh, Dave's whatever that That's bread what is. I'm, I'm That's a good it. bread. Yeah. Yeah. And slow it down. They say, you know, have it, have some, have it with some olive oil, have it some fat, so you're not having like all these simple carbs on the empty stomach, and then your blood sugar spikes all over the and place. And not in the morning. Generally speaking, not first thing in the morning. You're a little bit more insulin levels are a little bit more sensitive. I do think that's overrated to some extent in conversations. I am a fan of intermittent fasting as well. But that being said, I find midday, and also there's something to be said about if you are having carbohydrates, giving your time, your body enough time to digest before you go to bed. All right, Dave's killer, I think it's called. Dave's You're right, killer. Dave's killer. But for yeah. example, so on my low carb day with you, my 
Fantastic. meal would be chicken, which I cut off a rotisserie chicken because I'm not a big cook, as you know, and some strawberries and some broccoli. Like that would be my low carb meal, and that and that. So if people are wondering what to eat, that's like. But a you know what? But everybody hears chicken and broccoli, and it goes back to that. That's what you know. There's you can eat a lot more exciting yeah. things. I've given her a ton of recipes, by the way. But here's one that I love: cauliflower rice is is great. But even white rice, like I said, you can mix it in. But on a low carb day, cauliflower rice. Cauliflower yeah. is a little higher carbohydrate, but that's okay. With you, can, you know, yeah. there's a ton of ways to hit, hit it. But saute it, however you want to go I about it. I love cauliflower rice, it's and it's delicious. frozen and easy. All right, yeah. thanks, Joe. If you're looking for get, uh, even more results, you can go to definewellnesscenter.com. They do the red light therapy also to help fat loss. Have a great day. Eyewitness News at 4 is next.